Yo, what up, y'all? Welcome back to the to the channel, man. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how to become a bulldog breeder. And you guys are getting a live view. I am uh, truck driving. I just did some uh, research and I was doing some thinking. I'm gonna make a step-by-step uh, -step or points like a better better video uh, later on on this topic on how to become a uh, bulldog breeder. I already uh, talked about how I got in the game. Uh, so go check out that. It's uh, how I got into bulldog breeding, which is like my first live video. And uh, that one did numbers. So I guess you guys like that content. I'm going to open this up because it's, it's weird. I got another truck next to me. But, <clears throat> um, but yeah, guys. Uh, get to get into it to become a bulldog breeder I'm gonna tell you one thing uh, the most important thing is to do your research 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 and I'm gonna tell you why you want to do as much research as possible because it is very possible for you to get burned in this industry what do I mean by that? Um, before I got into uh, the game, I, I knew what a bulldog was, but I didn't know what the standard was. So when I got in the bulldog game, I guess you would say that I purchased uh, a hybrid uh, or uh, what, what my market, uh, my competitors will call them exotics, right? which are colors that aren't AKC certified, right? They're not They're not recognized by AKC. AKC only recognizes like like a fine white, uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, fine white, red, and uh, the other one is like a brindle. I think it's a couple more, but those are the ones that I remember. Um, it's... It's crazy, man. There's so much to learn about these dogs, y'all. Uh, when I got in the game, I, like I said, I spent a lot of money that I shouldn't have um, because of lack of knowledge. So when you first get in the game, y'all, research, research, research. Like I said, I'm going to make another video on this. It's going to be on a high-quality camera, better audio, I promise. But this is something for you guys that are out there that are just wanting to get into the game take your time when you're buying a dog it's like car shopping with these dogs you're gonna spend tons of money expect to spend no less than 2500 and that's on the low end for an, 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 an okay quality dog you know that's on the low end um on the high end you're looking at five six for a show dog anywhere from seven to ten grand but there are honest breeders out there that sell good bloodline, uh, but they make it hard for you to um, get them because one, they're always sold out, and two, they want to know your intentions. Good, like the Bulldog Club of America, it's so hard to to contact uh, someone and in, 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 you know, in, in, and I understand, you know, that they probably dealing with a lot. COVID's going on. Uh, but I've reached out to them multiple times, uh, Bulldog Club of America out in San Diego, and uh, I haven't gotten a response yet. Uh, try, just trying to get in, you know what I mean? So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, what I would do if you're wanting to get into the bull, Bulldog game, this is my advice to you. When I said do your research, you can also buy uh, a magazine called The Bulldogger. That is, uh, I believe it's $50 or $35 for, uh, you get three issues. I think one comes out in January, the middle of the year, and then like September, October. So it's three, you get three issues for that uh, $35 or $50. Um, they, that magazine shows you what a dog should look like. It shows you past dog shows and champions. It tells you about breeders. It tells you about the breed itself. It's called the Bulldogger. This is this is secret sauce. Like this is what I had to figure out thousands of dollars later. 
So I'm saving you time and I'm saving you money. I'm telling you, do your research. Get that issue, a magazine. It's like Sports Illustrated. You, you pay for a subscription, they send it to you. You can also, uh, when you're uh, a member of the Bulldog Club of America, um, when you pay for your membership, those come free with your membership. But if you don't have to be a part of the the uh, the club, you don't have to be a part of the club to uh, get the Bulldogger, which is the magazine. Um, two, uh, I've already said it. Take your time, guys. Do not rush into buying a dog. Don't get sold on something that... Um, someone's telling you like get it now it won't last forever hey y'all if it's not meant to be at that time it's not to be at that time wait and do your research y'all because you will get burned you will get burned in this industry i'm telling you um i i'm not gonna say i made a mistake with buying my male dog when you buy a male dog make sure that he is the highest quality of dog you can you can buy if you're gonna stud them out if you're doing it just a pet then cool you don't have to worry about nothing i'm talking about i'm talking about strictly breeding your stud has to be one it has to be immaculate because no one's gonna want to use him if he's if he's got health problems if he's got uh uh, uh you know bad structure um uh, corkscrew tails it, it's just so much guys it's so much that I can't fit in this eight minute video that I want to tell you guys that I'm going to put in the next video, the, the edited one, the, the one I'm going to put all my heart and soul into. I just have to get up this off my chest because I see so many people spending money on these dogs and they're buying BS. And I'm not going to say BS because the dog, a dog, all dogs are amazing. But for the money and the quality that you guys are getting, it's not worth it. They're saying that, oh, this is, you know, Merle this, Merle that, blue try this, blue try that. And it's not the best quality colors. It's cool, right? The colors look cool. Colors colors are amazing. But color means nothing when you're buying BS structure. So I'm telling you this, guys. And um, <clears throat> one last thing that I'll, I'll, I'll end it with is you will make mistakes searching for a dog you will make mistakes but as you go along it's okay because as long as you make it turn it into a lesson you're gonna be all right and what i mean by that is, is um i'll give you an example um goliath my boy he, he as a puppy now that i know i, I i'm going to wait eight weeks, eight to 10 weeks to see how my next stud fills out. And what I mean by that is, is I'm gonna look at his structure. I'm gonna look at his paws. I'm gonna look at his ears, his uh, snout, his, his, his uh, snout length, um, his neck length, his, uh, his rear end, making sure that it's a bit higher than the front, make sure the, the front has big bone, uh, big wide chest. These are the things that I look for in a male stud now, right? Not easty westy's feet. You know the, the the feet that that go east and west. That's that's considered uh, something that they would dock you for if you were um, in an AKC dog show. This is a ton of research. I'm giving it to you. This is sauce for the free. Take your time. I spent I spent a nice chunk of change for my boy and. Uh, He's not the best quality, and I'm okay with that. He's just, he's my, my first boy. He was my lesson, and I'm not going to, you know, not love him any differently because he's not what I wanted. It was all the lesson, you know what I mean? So me wanting to get in the gaming and being thirsty, I wouldn't say I didn't get, I didn't, I wouldn't say I got burned, but let's just say I learned a lesson because, uh, you know, just moving too fast, you know what I mean? So... I hope this video, guys, gives you a little bit of clarity when trying to get to the uh, Bulldog game. Those are three things that I would do um, getting into the game. It's research, research, research. Take your time. Take your time. 
take your time, guys. Do not let nobody rush you into buying this expensive, expensive bulldog, okay? Or this expensive, expensive breed. So, I'm going to end with that, man. I'm not going to keep it long. I hope you guys like the video. Comment down below if you guys have any questions about what I just said or any questions about anything with, uh, with trying to get a bulldog. Comment down below. I will answer as quickly as possible. Or you can go to our Instagram at Chloe uh, the Bulldog um, or TikTok at Chloe the Bulldog. So I uh, hope to see you guys um, in the comments. Hit that like. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And we out. Dixon Family Kindles. Peace.